guys, Cindy Oder here with my RT Endeavors. How are you doing? Did you guys miss me? <laughs> um, I am able to finally have time to sit down and do a design team challenge for Gina Ahrens. And um, this challenge is, the, the words are develop, build, and I lost the third word. Hold on. Uh, let's see. They are to develop, expand, and build up. So I'm sitting here thinking about this and I'm like, hmm, this is what I'm going to do. I have these three canvases that um, I've had laying around the studio for a long time. So I'm going to work with those. I have some, this is just some die cut stuff. This isn't Gina's, uh, but this is just die cut stuff that I was looking at earlier. This is Gina's. That's Gina's feather that I embossed. Um, here's a couple of her sticker feathers. But what I really wanted to show you is Gina has some new products in her Etsy shop. If you haven't been there, you really need to go check it out. These are really cool. Um, these are just freestyle stitching that she's done. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this today or not. Probably not because, yeah, it's a little bit too big. But I have another idea for a project in mind for that. So for this week, what I did is... Um, Gina actually sent us uh, on the design team some odds and ends that she had hanging out in your studio. I'm going to get to these in a second. Oops. And I love, 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 love what she sent. This is one sheet, okay? And it's just, she had printed this face out on a sticker sheet. She had used parts of it and didn't use the rest. This, these um, feathers. They are actually punched out in circles, okay? So this is another sheet. You know, she used what she needed on them, and then you know how you you know how we do it. We get something, we use it for whatever, and then, yeah, we just kind of let it go. So that's what these are. These are just kind of leftovers that she's played around with in her shop and um, in her studio, used what she needed, and just, yeah, hasn't went back to it. So... I'm really excited because I'm going to use pieces of these on these new canvases. Now this is another sheet of faces that she did. I love this face. That's really cool. I may use that. The exciting. This is what's really exciting. And don't mind my background. Um, if you watch Explorations of Me, this will make sense to you. <laughs> but look at this packet. Now these are stickers. Okay, she doesn't have anything on here. But these are stickers. And what you get is not just one sheet. Look at those flowers. How cool are they? And it says, be a wildflower. Love, love, love that. Look at this one. Spread your wings. How cool is that? And these are little bird eggs, by the way. Spread your wings. Fly free and dream. Of course, her beautiful, beautiful um, feathers. She just does an amazing job with feathers and watercolor. It's amazing. And then this one, which is move forward with intention. And, you know, it's got, um, this is her signature girl. It's a, one of her stencils. This is a stencil. It's got a picture of an eye here, a nose and a mouth, eye, mouth, and nose. It says forge your path, and then a couple Buddhas. And again, this is another one of her stencils. So this is a really, really cool packet of goodies. Um, check them out. Check them out in the shop and see what you think of them. And I hope you guys, you know, really enjoy them as much as I do. All right. So for our project today, like I said, I'm going to take these three canvases and we're going to do something with them. So the first thing I'm going to do, they're already painted this teal kind of color. We got to lighten that up a little bit. So let's grab some paints. Here's my palette. Um, I'm going to take just some white. Uh, let's see, titanium white. And I just want to, not a whole lot, I just I want to lighten them up just a touch. I want to put a little bit of something else on them, just kind of, right? Nothing crazy, just a little bit of here and there. You know, somewhere on the edges, maybe some in the middle. Just, you know, to break it up a little bit. Just break up that monotony of that color. I'm going to make a little bit darker on the edges, maybe. Or lighter, I should say. All right. Nothing crazy. Now I'm just going to take the top part of the stencil and just maybe wipe off here and there. All right. So let me bring you in. I don't know if you can see. Hold on. You 
can't really see, but it's there. Just lightened it up a touch. You know, not a whole lot. I, I'm not looking to make a white canvas, but I just, I need some different, something besides teal on there. Take a little bit more. Now what I'm thinking, um, I'm making this set of canvases and you know, I'm thinking I want to put them up somewhere in my new home. I just, I don't know. There's got to be a little hole somewhere on one of those walls out there that I can put up this set of canvases. So, Alright, so we got some white on those canvases, so a little bit more on others. That's fine. All right, so there's some white. Now I'm going to get out my modeling paste. Oh, no, that's gesso. Let's find the modeling paste. Doo -doo. I think it's here somewhere. All right, got the modeling paste. And let me grab one of Gina's stencils, which I have right here. And... That one looks cool. Let's see if we have a smaller one. I want to use a smaller stencil because these are small canvases. Um, no, no, no. Let's see. I like that one. Oh, I like this one. We're going to use this one here. It's one of her stencils. Again, you can check in her shop. Um, she's got really, really cool stencils out there. Still might use that one, but let's let's start with this one. I have a couple Mike Deacon stencils in here too. All right, so let's. I'm gonna take these little stencils and I'm gonna add some of this modeling paste. Now, because again, because these are darker, I've got a little bit of light. I'm not gonna tint this. I can use any type of a paint to tint it any color I want. Um, that is not what I'm going to do because I do want it to stay white. So I'll clean off my plastic pellet knife. You know, I have all the metal ones and I can't help it, but I keep coming back to this one, which is one of my favorites, and this one. How crazy is that, right? I don't know. Anyways, so let's take some, I'll just get it out of my thing of water. Make sure it's clean because I was using um, glue on it earlier. All right, let's just, ooh, I gotta start using this modeling paste. It's getting ooky. Ooky, is that a word? Ooky? <laughs> it's for me. All right, I wanna put, that's too much. I just wanna put a little bit here and there. It doesn't have to be much. Just want a few. Now I do have these um, canvases put together, um, and that's fine because I may hang them up that way. You know, not all together, but it'll be like a continuation of one to the other. And then I'm just gonna clean off the edges like that. That one's fine. Um, let me do. Let's do a couple circles. I'm just gonna do a couple little circles. Ooh. Every now and then there's one little thing that doesn't quite get cut all the way. Hold on. Doesn't happen often, just every now and then. Not Gina's fault, not the laser cutter's fault. Just happens. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can do this. two. Maybe two and a half. How's that? Perfect. So we're going to do the same thing here. Let that dry. I'm going to put three here. So basically what I'm doing with our prompt this month is I'm going to build these canvases. I'm going to expand on them as far as making them, you know, a set of canvases. And we're just going to have fun. Lots and lots of fun. Oops, I got a bunch on the back side, which I got to take off. I'm going to 
didn't mess it up too bad, did it? Leave that like that. Clean off the corner. Let's put a couple right here. And that them didn't turn out that well. Let's see what's going on here. All right. That's all good. Now I want to do some circles. I have to use some more of that paste up. There we go, some circles. All right, so we're going to have to let these dry. I'm going to wipe this off with a baby wipe. As you guys know, I don't normally clean my stencils. It's just, I can't, I just can't. <laughs> not my thing <laughs> so but if I do use something like a modeling paste um, I will get it off the stencil the only reason is because if you don't it will coat up and then eventually you have issues with your stencil and I don't want issues with them so same with the paint but it takes an awful lot of paint to make an issue so all right let me dry these up I got to clean that off and I'm gonna dry them up real good and we'll be right back all right, so here's my thinking. I've got three canvases, right? I'm thinking, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use her. I'm gonna use her on one of the canvases. And of course, we're gonna work with that. I'm gonna use one of the birds and I'm gonna use some of these flowers. So, what the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm looking at the colors in her and I see a little bit of pink and a little bit of purple. So I am going to grab, which I should have done it when I shut the camera off, but I didn't. Where are they? Um, I am going to grab a pink and a purple. Okay, here's my pink and my purple. And these are the pearl eyes, the pearlescent ones, which is what I want. And I have this green because if you look um, in this picture, there's some of that green also. At least I see it. And then the pink and the purple. So we're gonna get, I gotta move some stuff because I wanna get wet. I am just gonna put, we're gonna play. Ready? I'm gonna take some of this pink. I don't wanna do a whole lot. I don't wanna overwhelm these canvases. But I'm gonna put just a drop right there. And we're gonna play a little bit, maybe a little bit more. Now I can just spray this. Oops. Help if I spray the canvas and not me. Right? Doesn't that help? Alright, that's all went into one. Yeah, that's what I want. So we're gonna take these and we're just just playing around with the, the ink and letting the ink do its thing. Alright, so there's one with the pink. I'm going to take the second with the purple. Just move that. Let's grab the purple. And I think what this is going to do is it's going to bring these three canvases together so that we can see. My little bopper thing is not. Woo! There you go. So hang on here. Let's get it wet. And we're going to let it play. How cool is that? Alright, and our third one, we're going to take the green. Be right there, huh? Alright, so let's take this green. Alright, my little boob hopper. You know, that's the only thing I don't like about these things. These boob hopper things don't work all the time. Stop complaining, say. Not complaining, really, I'm not. <laughs> Just want to get enough ink on there to use it. Alright, let's see if we can get enough ink on there. I'm going to have to get a new... This one doesn't work at all. Maybe it's up or down. Nope. It just don't want to work. We're just going to put it on like this. 
Okay, and then we're going to spray it and we're going to let it play. All right, now I want to dry these up real quick, see what they look like, and then we might go back in with some of the opposite colors on the, on the different canvases. So give me a second, I'm going to dry them up and I'll be right back. So I've got those pretty much dry, but I'm going to play here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the pink on this purple one. Ooh. Move these guys out of the way for a minute. Same thing, use some water. Just play. Let it play. Sometimes you have to help it along to play, but look at that. Isn't that cool? You see it? All right, let's put a little play down this way. Awesome. I'm going to put more of that on. So I'm going to set that one aside. So there's the pink. Now, okay, let me do the purple. Give me one second. Okay, so we're going to take the purple. And you know what? I don't want to put the purple on the pink. I want to put the purple on the green. Let's do that instead. Right? Let's let the purple and the green play. Yeah, I like that. All right, now on the pink, we're going to take the green. And basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to get these canvases so they all, um, you know, have the same range of colors or the same likeness of colors. All right, and we're going to take and wet those down and let's let them play. All right, so now it's time to dry these up again and we'll be back. All right, so these are all dry, but here's what I'm noticing. I don't see my white anymore. So I'm gonna put some white back on here just because I need some white. I don't know why. Let's uh, see what we got. Let's throw some white back in here just because we can. You know, it doesn't have to be everywhere, but let's put a little on there. That's a little bit too much, but that's okay. And we'll throw a little bit right there. Hmm. All right, and some more, some more, some more. Yeah, there we go. We'll bring out back out some of those um, the modeling paste that we did. Just kind of wake them up a little bit. You know, it's okay if some of them are color, but we want to get some of them white too. So, all right, so there we go. We've got some white back in. Now, while that dries, what I need to do is I need to figure out um, how I'm going to do these. Like I said, I'm going to use her. And I'm thinking she is going to go right here on this one. Now, like I said, this is, I'm just figuring out what I'm going to do. I'm showing you guys how I figure that out. All right. Um, all right, let's see. I think I'm going to put this one on another one. And I like the spread your wings, maybe. Hold on, before I do that, Cindy, let's look. And then what did I say I was gonna do on the other one? Flowers, well the flowers are gonna be used on her hair. You know what, we're gonna do this other bird. Why not? Do I wanna do this one? Or do I want to do this one and then have spread your wings? Or be a wild, no, I don't want to be a wildflower. I want one of these. Move forward with intention. I love that. Um, let's see. 
he has. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to get out the matte medium, and the easiest way for me to do this is just start doing it. So let me grab my, I'm going to use my heavy matte medium, heavy gel, and we're just going to start by putting these down. So again, this is a sticker. But because I've, ooh, because I've got paint and all that other stuff on here, um, I want it to be able to um, stay. Just getting that little bit of white off there. So if for some reason I don't um, cover it completely up, it doesn't look funny. All right, so we're going to actually, you know what, we're going to put her like this down here. I want all right so I'm just putting a little layer of matte medium over her okay she's stuck on me <laughs> stop <laughs> her okay let's take this one okay and you know I got a lot of white around here and I don't want that much white so I'm just going to trim some of that white off. Not all of it, um, just the excess. Just the excess white. Now these may even go up in my bedroom. I don't know. They're going to go somewhere in my house. All right, so here's the white. If I can get it off my fingers, it's stuck again. All right, this one is going to go on here. So let's just throw some matte medium down, just like that. Well, that matte medium has pink in it, so I just wiped off my knife. All right, so there's that. Now, this other one, do I want to put this other one here? Yeah, I think I'm going to. Only before I do it, so I don't end up with all the sticky all over me. I am just going to trim it right now. I hope you guys are enjoying this year's prompts for the design team. Um, we had a lot of fun coming up with them and, you know, thinking about different things to do with them. And, and uh, yeah, it's I enjoy working with Gina's products. They're not, they're not the norm. Um, you know, her products are just very freeing and, and just let you um, do for yourself as far as, you know, a style. It's not... You don't look at it and say, oh yeah, that was Gina Aaron's. Um, you can use these products and, and create, you know, on your own style with them. So, all right, so I love that one. So let's take this. Again, we've got that medium on there that's a different color. So let's clean it off. Let's put some down. And make sure I can get my sticker off. I got dirty hands. I've been creating all morning. I'm surprised they're not dirtier than this. <sighs> I know this is a sticker. That's the only thing about trimming them is, you know, then you have to find the sticker part of it. Come on. There we go. All right, so we'll take this off the back, and we'll put this right here. All right, so that's on there. That's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so now, give me a second. I'm going to dry these up. And then we're going to come through and figure out what kind of a saying we're going to have on them. Actually, before I do that, I want to put some flowers that are going to go around her head. But give me just a minute. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to take some of these flowers. And again, I'm going to just kind of trim the white out because I don't want all the white. 
And I don't care if they're straight. They don't need to be straight. No flower is perfect, right? I've never seen a perfect flower, have you? Never, so. These are awesome. I love these stickers, Gina. Fabulous stickers. Ah. I love the stickers. I don't like the sticker part. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> uh, I found that funny. <laughs> My weird sense of humor, right? I know. Okay, so let's do do do. Love it. And one more. Do I want one more? Maybe a half of one. Let's do a half of one. Come on off there. Let's cut it right in half. We're gonna do a half of one. See, I didn't put any um, matte medium on these, but that's okay. What I want to do is I just want it to be like this. Hmm, it's too big. I'm going to cut it down. Make it smaller so it's like that. I don't want that. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to throw a little bit of matte medium over top of these just to make sure that they stay on the canvas. Um, now, another thing I wanted to do, thinking I don't want to put that there. Maybe this. Let's see. So I hope you guys um, check out Gina's Etsy shop. She has a lot of really cool stuff in there. And... You know, think about this month's project and, you know, just um, go with the flow. I mean, I'm just kind of thinking this out as I do it. I have no idea what um, I want it to look like when it's done. It's just, I'm just going with my intuition saying, oh, yeah, that looks good there. Oh, no, that doesn't look good there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll put this here. And I know some people um, have a really hard time doing that, but I'll tell you, it's easy. The, the, how do I say this? The um, more you do it this way, the easier it gets. So let's just do this. We're going to put this right here. See, I'm just winging this as it goes. I got all these little, so I'm going to put that right there. I just want that there. That's all. And I think just to kind of tie them all together, I'll put this one. Maybe this guy's carrying it. This guy's carrying it. There you go. And let's see. This one, we'll just throw right here in the corner. How's that? So let's put some more matte medium on them. Yeah, and this is just to make sure that they stay on the canvas. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry thoroughly. Once it completely dries, I'm not going to use the heat gun. Well, I'm going to use the heat gun to start it. But once it completely dries, then we're going to come back in. I'm going to put in some shadows, um, you know, and we'll, we'll pull all these pieces together. I still also have to figure out, and I think it's going to be this. I think it's going to be this saying, uh, move forward with intention. You know? Where do I want it? Hmm. See, I'm not liking it there, so let's do this. There's a couple things I'm not liking about it. A, I don't like the color. So let's take and change the color. Uh, do we 
have a teal and I know the teal that this was and I don't think I have it anymore so I'm going to use some of this PBO. Um, yeah this this teal that I had done I got that a long long time ago. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Got some on my palette over here. And I just want to make that not so white. There we go that's better. You know I don't want it to be completely not white but we had to take some of that white out of there all right and now we can put it down I'm really tempted to put it right here you know what I think that's where it's going so let's just throw some matte medium on here I kind of maybe should have moved her over a little bit but that's okay it's going right there too late now right love it all right so let's dry these up we'll come back we'll put some doodles and finishing touches on them and we will call it done so give me a few and I'll be back with you all right so before I start putting some shadowing and stuff on here I found these really cool these are Gina's um, stamps and it's the feathers and I thought you know it'll be really cool just to put a few of them on here again taking off that white um, just because I don't want all of that white on there. And this, uh, I'm just going to use my glue stick. Ugh. So just add a little bit more glue to that. So let's just take this. Just, just to, oops, come on. This is one of those glue sticks that you can move stuff for like up to five minutes. I don't want to move it, I just want to put it on there. All right, let's see. Another one. And these are just tiny feathers. I just thought they'd look neat on this these canvases. So same thing, I got glue on here. So I'm just gonna kind of Let's see, where do I want this one? Maybe over here. Come on. You know what? I'm going to have to use. Hold on. Ugh. Just going to use my heavy gloss. That'll work. Let's just put them down with that. That way we know they aren't going to go anywhere. Right? Oops, get back there, you. Okay. Wow, this just does not want to go on there, does it? You are going to go there and you are going to stay there. All right, let's find another one. I just thought these would be cool around the birds. So. This one doesn't have a whole lot of weight on it, just a little bit. So let's take our heavy matte medium. We're going to put this one down here. There we go. Right, I don't want to put anything more on those. That. I do want to put a few of the tiny feathers on this other one. waiting for a bunch of people to get here to have dinner tonight well this afternoon I should say it's kind of a early dinner we're doing just a um, it's just family that lives down here in Myrtle Beach area and it's it's really simple it's just gonna be um, you know spaghetti and meatballs and tossed salad and bread and you know very simple meal not a lot of work has to go into it. I made the sauce this morning and that's all ready to go. So, and um, so now we're just waiting for them to get here. They shall be here soon. But in the meantime, I'm playing. All right, so here's the other one. Let's put this one right here. 
Oh, maybe it'll go up a little bit more right there. Sounds good, right? All right, so like I said, I just wanted to put something a little bit more on there. Now, while these ones dry because they have the flowers on them, I'm going to start working on this one. This one should be all dry, which it is. And what I've got is my Stabilo All Pencil, um, which is my black one. And then I have a couple gel pins, one in um, gold and one in silver. Get this stuff off my fingers. I'm not sure what's on there. Hmm. And I'm just going to play around a little bit um, with the canvas and, you know, with the face and, and just throw some, just some shadow in here a little bit here and there um, to make sure that we have just a little bit, not a lot. I don't want it, you know, really dark. I just want to put a little bit of con more contrast in there. That's all. You know, Gina did a beautiful job when she did the painting, but you know, it doesn't always bring over all of those, the contrast when there's, you know, um, you're doing the painting versus, you know, um, using a, a copy of that painting. So, and I think I hear car doors. So like I said, I'm just throwing a little bit more on there. Um, just a little bit of the dark. You know, just to add a little bit to it. There we go. You know, just to make sure we have it. I like it. And then I'm also, I'm going to go around this, but I think I'm going to use gold to go around that. So here's my gold pen with a bunch of white sticky paper on it. Huh, wonder where that came from. <laughs> this is, um, says made for tail, 2340 and a bunch of numbers. So to be honest with you, I'm not sure where I got this one, but like I said, I'm just going to go around this move forward with intention. Um, this quote, and I really like it. Um, it's a great quote. So, just kind of going forward. Throw a little bit of gold here around the leaves, maybe in the middle, front. Okay. Throw a little bit of gold here. This needs a little bit of darkness right there. Just a touch. Okay, now I gotta go check because I think Peoples are here. So there she is, she's pretty. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so it was false alarm. Now the other thing I wanna put on here, um, just gonna use um, a Faber-Castell pit marker. Just wanna put some dots on here. Hear my cat in the background? She smells the spaghetti sauce. That cat is crazy for spaghetti. I don't know what the deal is, but she smelled it cooking all day, so she's like, I want spaghetti. Of course, I'll fix her a small plate tonight. Isn't that cute? Love it. All right, so I'm going to set that one aside right now. I really like the way it looks. I love the way the flowers came out on the hair. I just, I'm really happy with that. So let's look at this next ones. Let's, I'm going to shoot them a second with the heat gun. Because um, when I put some black mark and stuff on here, I don't want it to be in glue. All right, so let's start with this one. Um, this, I'm just, I'm not really going to go around the bird. Well, maybe I will. I'll do a little bit down here. How about we do some shadow down in here? Okay, so there's some shadow. Like this right here. I'm just going to bring it over here, a little bit of it. That Stabilo. And then just bring a little of it. So you can actually pick it up and move it up there. Just give it a little bit, a little bit, just a tiny tad, tiny tad touch. 
Um, I'm going to do the same thing around these feathers just to give them a little bit. See that one, the glue's not dry. Alright, so let's just. And then this one, I'm also going to do some black dots on. Um, maybe some, I don't think I'll do any white doodles, just some black dots. There we go. Alright, here's my black dot. Going crazy. Abadoo's going crazy. Now I just want some gold. Are we writing? Yes, we are. Let's put some gold here. I want some gold again around the flower or the leaves. There's some gold on the feather. Gold here. gold on the tail, maybe a little bit on the wings. It's funny because, boy, these pens, when they write on regular paper, they're fantastic. But boy, you put them on any type of a medium and they get, they get upset. All right. I love it. Okay. And the last one is this one. Just going to hit it real quick. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and put the shadows in. Oops. There's a lot of stool right there. A little bit here, maybe a little bit over here. Some right here. I'm just going to take a little bit of that off just because it was a little bit too much. Okay, we've got our black here. We've got our black here. Put it down to the side. It's okay. It's all good. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of black up in here. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to take my gold on my leaves. He's carrying. And I'm just going to put a little bit of just a touch of gold in his wings. And gold on his beak. And then I'm just going to finish it up with some dots. So there we go. That is my take on develop, build up, and how come I never can remember this world? Develop, expand, and build up. And I have three cool little canvases that's going to be hanging up somewhere in my home. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, don't forget to check in the description box below. We have the links to all of the art um, design teams, um, each of the members. We have all their links down there. Let me see if I can put these on. Let's try to get some of that background out of there. Just put them on white so you can actually see the canvases. How's that? Is that better? Now you can actually just see the canvases. Take the little glare off them. All right, so here they are. I'm really, really happy with them. Like I said, they're going to go um, somehow, whether it's this way on a wall or this way. On, I don't know. But um, there's a nice little set of canvases that I've got for my new home and again I hope you guys have enjoyed so happy creating have fun that's what life's all about and I will talk to you next month have a great day bye